Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I make games, play games, and everything in between. And today, we're going to be talking about checkpoints. All right, so I think checkpoints is a great thing to go over because they're pretty simple. They can do a lot. I just brought out the BuildBox 2.0 manual. I'm sure everyone's gone through this. And here we go. Set checkpoint, set a checkpoint. So where the checkpoint begins, that will be used for restart from checkpoint. So if you use restart from checkpoint, you actually can go to where the set checkpoint is. And next we have next checkpoint, which is move player to next checkpoint. So that's a little confusing because actually what it means is it moves player to the next set checkpoint. So wherever there is a set checkpoint, next checkpoint will take that character and move it to the set checkpoint. And then restart checkpoint. The restart checkpoint will restart you at the last checkpoint. Uh, let's create dogfight. I'm just picking one at random. Now I have invisible uh, invisible PNGs, so I'm just gonna make this a set checkpoint. Okay, and then I'm gonna make this one a next checkpoint. And let's go ahead and next checkpoint. And then currently I think these are set to be random, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. That doesn't necessarily work well with uh, a line scene, so we go. With setting checkpoints and next checkpoints, and again it always depends on the game. You can have it all randomized, but it's easier to explain if it's not. Okay, so here we have set checkpoints, so let's just go through the game. Here you got the enemies, and then yeah, you hit a side, you die. So it's good. Usually, set checkpoints you want at the beginning of every level. So I'm just gonna put this here at the very beginning. I'm gonna copy it, and paste, paste. Show you how next checkpoint works. So in this level, in the middle, actually, I can go ahead and put these on here too. But I can create this next checkpoint and over here have it. We'll have it also be invisible. So maybe like an invisible jump to the next section in case this is too difficult. And yeah, we can just go ahead and jump into this level. So we set a checkpoint up here. And this should take us to the next checkpoint. See, just like that. So it kind of jumps you, it jumps you from one to another, or it can jump you from one to another. So depending on how your level is set up, whether you want the character to be here and then be here, all within the same world, you, and you can use next checkpoint and set checkpoint. So you have the next checkpoint will take you to the future set checkpoint. And then finally we have restart checkpoint. Yeah, so the restart checkpoint will restart you at the last checkpoint. Not exactly sure when it's best to use that. It gives the ability to restart at last checkpoint. Yeah, right there it says it. So yeah, and you can use this in whatever way, like maybe if the character falls off a cliff and you don't want to kill the character, you can restart at the last checkpoint. So that, that's how you would use restart checkpoint. And then also, you know, in like the game over UI, you can select from restart from restart checkpoint. So this will just kind of exactly what the restart checkpoint did was restart you at the last checkpoint. So this is an important place that you would want to use, utilize, and make sure you're taking advantage of the checkpoints in the game over UI. Cool, and so that's the basics for checkpoints. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any ideas for tutorials, I'd love to hear them. And if I know how to do them, I'll definitely give it a shot. So. Till then, I will see you next time.